Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I thought there were going to be some other folks in between, but uh, thank you again for your appearance with us. I, I, I want to follow back up again with the, some of the earlier remarks. Um, there was a, 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 a in Forbes magazine, uh, it said that China and India, uh, quoting from China and India, collectively consume about 60% of all the coal produced in the world. Um, and that uh, in the next 10 years, the Asia will be increasing their demands for coal by 31%. They're already at 60%. They want to increase 30%. I, uh, I find that incredible. And then I, I want to follow back up again with the remark that you made uh, to the congressman from uh, California, uh, that you said India may very well be following our lead uh, by making these reductions. Uh, but yet the quote in, in, in this article says that India has rejected any absolute cuts and that it needs to emit more as it grows to beat poverty. So I, I'm not sure that anyone's following what you think is happening around the world. It goes to that old adage, uh, uh, a leader that has no followers is merely a man taking a walk. And I think that's what you have here, is no one in the country. They may very well go to, as they did to Kyoto and elsewhere, uh, Stockholm and, and make these agreements, but then they don't uphold them. So I don't know that Paris is gonna be any better with this. So I'm, I'm looking back at the question that more directly to what you're trying to propose, you're willing to sacrifice the economy of this country when everyone else is gonna to continue to use coal, you're gonna sacrifice our economy through this rule and drive a, another dagger into the hearts of the coal fields of, of this country and all across because the electricity. I think it's curious and I want to hear your explanation of why in the initial rule, for example, was West Virginia was supposed to have a 20% reduction but then when the final rule came out, it went to 37%. And North Dakota went from 11% to 45%. And Kentucky went from 18 to 41. And, and Wyoming, 19 to 44. Are you trying to suggest with a, that during your hearings in those respective states that the people actually said, we want more stringent controls on our emissions in Kentucky and Wyoming and West Virginia? Uh, I, 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 I wanna hear that answer, but I also wanna add one more that backdrop information. I just got notice just here just a minute ago. The Patriot Coal has just now issued a warn notice to the miners in West Virginia that 2,000 more coal miners in West Virginia are gonna lose their job in the next few days. And you, you all can sit there and just say, we need, this is going to be good for our, our air when other nations are polluting our atmosphere at far greater than we are. So can you tell me why you've doubled and tripled the standards for, for when they can't meet the first standard, why you've tripled it? So absolutely, Congressman, I'd be glad to address that. There's a lot in your in your question there. I'm not sure I'll, I'll, I'll get to respond to everything, but let me focus on the changes between the proposal and the final rule, especially as it relates to, to the states that you mentioned. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, fair, very fair question. And we've been having those discussions um, with, with, with state officials and utilities um, and, and others uh, since the final rule came out. In fact, I was meeting with some West Virginia officials just uh, last week and, and, and had this very discussion. So as we do rulemaking, uh, we put out a proposal, we lay out our, uh, our reasoning, um, our, our legal support, we lay out the information that we have, um, and then we, we put it out and people comment on it, people give us additional information, um, people uh, give us their, their different views, and uh, as I've said, um, there was just an extraordinary amount of, of, of input on, but on, on this rule. But that led you to ink doubling down so, the penalties on West Virginia, uh, Wyoming, Kentucky, all these other coal producing. You've, you actually got testimony that we should double down the penalty? Uh, uh, Congressman, I, I, I certainly object to the use of the word penalty. That, that's not an appropriate term for this rule. Well, I object Wait, to your the, use of the word fair the, when I'm talking look, about uh, all these people losing their jobs. Can, can I explain why I use the word fair? Um, oh, good luck. Okay. Um, in the proposed rule, um, we, we uh, took a very state-centric approach. Um, and, and that led to a certain proposal, which in fact 
um, uh, set differential rates for the same type of plant across the country. So a coal rate in one state um, was significantly different than a coal rate in another state. And uh, through okay. the I, 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 I want to hear what's fair when you shut down a, 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 a coal-fired power plant and it destroys the fabric, the economic uh, basis for it to run a school system in a county when the millions of dollars are lost. I, don't, I want to talk, that's fair. Is that fair? Gentlemen's time has expired.